be the male species right most uh this is about all sea bass are born as females right right um there's some of them that are born as males but sea bass are hemero hemero foldites or something like that <laughs> hemeroidites a long long medical word right. for it whatever but you know wow well, that's they, a good one which means that they're able to function as both sexes. Right, right. So, you know. They you become, like you've got one that's about two years old and probably about and seven boy, and a half inches, which, which is about a two year old two bass. That's when they, doing, they're able to uh, function as both sexes. Right, thank you. Oh, wow, wow, nice, jeez. So this is this is the female. That's the female, okay, and that's daddy. That's daddy. <laughs> that's daddy. That's dinner. <laughs> yeah, definitely dinner. Nice, nice, beautiful yeah, fish, man. Yeah, they are absolutely beautiful. And this, beautiful. where it's getting this blue at, and now the males they'll start getting a hump. Yeah. And um, right now, because we've got females are spawning stuff, that's when they get that turquoise. Okay. Sort of like a peacock, you know, when it's when um it wants to protect its area, okay. it gets the color to it. But that'll go away, and then you know when it starts again, they'll get they'll get that when they spawn again, they'll get that purple head on them again. Beautiful, yes. Beautiful fish. That's definitely. I think we passed it. Thirteen and a half. Nice. Well, uh, Bob, what about the depth? I mean, we're we're running. Um, pretty good depth here. Well, we're in about between 80 and 85 feet okay. is a good area. Now there's another hole out there that I that I'll fish a lot is uh you know it's right around 90 feet of water. That's a good depth for uh for catching some some nice size sea bass. Yeah. Now well, right now you gotta still weed through the small ones, right? Which right. Is, you know through any species, but it's just. As you've seen so far today, it's just non-stop. Right. The nice thing about it, I've seen um, the last few days fishing out here, is uh, there's lots of lots of bass. I've seen no shortage. I mean, so far, so far since they opened up sea bass fishing this year, there's another nice little male. I mean, I've never seen it like this in the last four or five years. Is that right? Just, oh yeah. I tell you what, I got Whatever one on here that wants to wage war, brother. Well, there you go. Hopefully, you got another one for dinner. Either that, or it's seen the boat from 80 feet down. Uh, and we got the right temperature too, right now. I right. mean, it, we're showing 66 degrees, so. Oh, I got two on. Oh, that's why. You got two on and kicker. You got a. Now this bottom one, see her color? Yeah. Okay. You'll notice. She's full of eggs still. They shouldn't oh, yeah, have them. Geez. She's not yeah. done that yet. Huh. Okay, and that's why the difference is this one here is getting ready to turn into a male. Right. See how the difference in the color? Right. Change right, right. and you start to get that hump. Right. Yeah. They usually start doing that between probably nine to thirteen, eight and a half to nine, thirteen up to thirteen inches. But I have seen some females as big as uh, fourteen or fifteen inches. <laughs> But I guess it just depends. I mean, they really don't spend a whole lot of time changing sex unless there is a shortage of males. Right. Yeah. They want to protect themselves. So they're going to do whatever they can. Well, I want to make sure I got her back in the drink. Oh, yeah. 
This this fishing is unbelievable though. When you get it all the way down to the bottom, I mean you're not there for about a minute, right? Next thing you know, I mean they're slamming. on the back side of that thing, 82. Got a little bit more room in here. Uh, we're back into the, the smaller ones. Daycare, right? Daycare center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice thing about it, if, you, if you're in the air and you just catch a small one, you move because they sort of like, uh, and I don't understand stand why, and I don't think anybody does because there's not been a whole lot of studying on, on black sea bass. Right, right. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're in an area and you catch a small one, just move a little bit because it seems like to hang out in groups of the same size. Right. Well, I was reading that in, you know, in the Delaware Fisherman Magazine about your article. And it, you're exactly right. It's, it seems like they, they all hang out, you know, the same size. Right. You know. I think it's like we come to a little area on this little short drift. We caught a right. couple of nice, decent sized males. Then we went into the females. And now the small ones. We get one more smaller one. We're moving. <laughs> right, we're going to run all the way down past it this time. Uh, no bait is going to help me out. <laughs> you can't catch fish unless you got bait. Right. <laughs> unless you're a uh, you're Houdini. Well, since I don't have any bait on here, I just want to talk a little bit about this rig here. Okay. That you got set up. You got a uh, orange squid skirt on here, and then the top you got a bead. Right. Right. Well, there's actually a bead inside of here too. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, it is. It's right there. That keeps the skirt from going over top of the hook. Right. And it's just a simple rig. Um, actually, this is this is you're using for the first time this one here because normally I have the the orange skirt up on top, right? And I have my drooper loops a little bit closer together, but I spread them out a little bit further because I've noticed here, like you know, over the course of fishing for them and stuff, a lot last year, sometimes the bigger ones up are a little bit higher, the big males above the females. So. Wow. You know, I spread it up a little bit, and then I moved the skirt up just to see how it, you know, put the skirt on the bottom because that seems to be a big, big draw for them. Just mm -hmm. to see if that will make them big males bottom to bottom too. Just to find right. out what part of the water column I'm actually going to be catching the, right. the more bigger fish in. Right, right. So change it up a little bit. All right. And I might even go a little bit higher. Right. Yeah. Well, it's working, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've caught some All right, fish. Well, let's go find us a hole. All right. <laughs> Two. Two but monsters. We got we got one looks like it's going to box so. Goodness gracious. Wow. Nice. Show the good people about that old hump back here. <laughs> yeah. Actually this one's been a male for a little while. A little bit longer than the it's last one because it's all yeah, it's all blued up. Yep. Jeez, and it's beautiful. definitely measurable. Yeah. Definitely measurable fish. Well, they like that bead on the bottom. Well, you got it on the bead on the top. That's weird. I changed them around a little bit just to see if that skirt is what draws it up. Right. And you got it on the opposite end. That's a smoker right there. Goodness gracious a lot. I'm glad that was just Look one at fish. that. You know, that's a nice one. 
Look wow. at that. Wow. That's a big hump. Beautiful, man. That's a big hump. That's a big in there. You know what's going to happen to that? Look at that. Whoa. whoa. Just Fif touching 15. 15. Jeez. Oh, I got the big one of the day. <laughs> you, you had me beat till now. I uh, actually feel better now. Why is that? Uh, I actually feel better now. Well, I tell you what, it's been one heck of a day, huh? Yes, it has. I tell you what, we uh, we have definitely caught some big. Look at that one. Got a smell in it. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'll show that off. Look at that. Yeah. That's good. Actually, that's a shiner. See the side of it? Yeah. Yeah. We caught some. Look at that one. It's got a big old shrimp in its mouth. Look at that. Is that what it is? Big old shrimp. Yeah, it is. Sure is. Eating shrimp. You know what? <laughs> Not going to. Yeah. <laughs> See, these guys, they're all regurgitating what they're eating. Uh, crabs, shrimp, been in there shiners. That one there, that's where Gary to take some ice. <laughs> <laughs> we have had a good day, haven't oh, we? Oh yeah. Well we've we got we've got eleven of them. Right. You wanna just call it a day or try I think for we one should, more? Uh, man, I tell you what, I think we got a lot we got a lot of cleaning to do right now. Well, since this is your first time really catching big ones, I think I'm gonna let you clean them off. <laughs> I've had my fill. <laughs> All right, well hey, it's been a great show, bro. All right. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you for coming. Yep, and you guys uh, you get an opportunity, come on out here in the bay. Uh, the ocean, you're the, the, ocean. the ocean. Yeah, out here in the, on the uh, the uh, artificial reefs and the natural reefs. Yeah. Um, try out some of these uh, some of these baits. Yeah, you know, just pay attention to what you're going out there. Follow your depth finder. There's a lot of structure between A and B buoy. Um, you know, just look. Once you get out there past 75, 80 feet of water, just just watch your depth finder, but then you've also got the, the uh, man-made structures that the state's put in for us, side 10, side 11. Side 11 is probably a real hot spot right now if you want to really travel out there a long ways. It's, you know, good 18 miles. Uh, but where we're at right now, we're about 14 miles out, closer to A buoy, um, you know, as far as where B buoy is at. But, yeah, just watch structure. That's all you need to catch fish. That's right. That's right. Well, hey, thanks again, Bob. All right, all right. buddy. All right. You guys stay tuned in the next Delaware Fisherman Magazine will be coming right out in June. Take care.